Yeah, my name is Sashi Wrighton and I'm a jockey's agent. A uh, jockey's agent involves book, booking rides for jockeys, for selecting the horses that they ride in races um, and just looking after their day-to-day -day lives. Um, every ride that I get my jockey on a horse, I get paid 10% of his riding fee. So the more rides I get him, um, the, m the more 10% commissions I get. I also get 10% of his winning percentage as well. So um, when he rides a, a winner, I get the percentage of his prize money, which is good. Uh, I always wanted to be a jockey when I was at school. That was what I wanted to be from the start. And I progressed and did what I wanted to do, which was be a jockey. It was um, successful. I rode for 11 years. Um, I had about two and a half thousand rides and only I rode 85 winners, which percentage wise, I didn't have a high number of winners, but I had lots of rides and um, I made a, a living at it. But I was never going to be a champion, so I had to make a decision. And uh, I wanted, the decision was to, to become an agent because I was never going to make enough money to, to be a top jockey, which, you know, which I wanted to be. Being a jockey and having an agent always interested me. And uh, as I grew towards the time when I was going to retire, I, um, I started to look into it and do a bit of research on it. And I thought that, that was going to be the best way forward for me. My first year of being a jockey's agent, um, I took on a jockey called Mickey Fenton, who was lucky enough to get on a horse and win the Thousand Guineas, probably one of the best races in the world. And we were lucky to win it. And that, that really was a big turning point in my career. And, um, you know, I'll never forget it, it's probably one of the best days of my life. Uh, winning the Guineas just gave me a lot of confidence. You know, trainers would talk to me and they knew that I, did, I looked after Mickey Fenton, who was a classic winning jockey. And just, it helped my, my whole day-to-day -day work and career, really. Um, it's a great, uh, it was a great boost to me. If someone was th wanting to do this, I'd, th I'd say to them, yeah, go, go for it, it's a really good career. It's hard work and it's high pressure. Um, you have to deliver. You know, there's deadlines, you have to, and jockeys expect you to be working for them, 100%. Um, you, and you have to get them on the better horses and on the winners. If if you haven't been a jockey before, it wouldn't it wouldn't stop you. You just have to um, probably do more research into into jockeys and and a jockey's life. But it's not essential. There are uh, four or five top agents who have never sat on horses in their lives and they're very good agents so it's definitely not essential yeah I love it yeah it's great I, I really enjoy what I do it's it's a great job um, I probably enjoy this more than actually when I was when I was riding as a jockey um, I think I'm probably more successful as an agent and uh, I've really sort of found my niche and it's it's great life yeah just really that I want to be remembered for being a good agent and someone who is good at good at their job and that's and as long as my jockeys remember me for that then I'm happy.